What I do requires a certain mindset. I do assignments, designated targets. Some jobs need to look like accidents. Best jobs are the ones nobody ever knows you are there. I know I'm better than you, you know. You're a damn machine. You need someone to watch your back. This wouldn't be about Steven, now, would it? He's your son. Damn disappointment. Always has been, always will be. Harry McKenna sold this company out. It must be a mistake. You know how this company works, Mr. Bishop. He had to be removed. Sorry about your father. It was a loss for both of us. I want to know what you know. Go online. It's all on the internet. But I don't want to read it. I want to do it. Follow me. You know what a mechanic is? A hitman. Time to take your training to the next level. So what's the plan now? Time to finish the job. Pretty impressive, huh? Those were my best teams. Guess I'll have to send more. Save the fuel. We're coming for you. You think you can get to me before I get to you? I already have. Do it. pretty impressive trailer is a pretty impressive movie. I'm Jeff Grillo, and you might notice we don't have Matt tonight, but instead we have a special guest, Brad Campoy. Howdy, folks. All right, so, pretty awesome movie. Can't, can't deny it there. A little slow start now, but let's face it, that you stay into it, stay watching it, you get a good twist in the end, a couple curveballs through there, a lot of shooting, a lot of action. How did you like the film? Tell me about it. I am a fan of his movies. You know, I liked all the Transporter movies and everything, and he does a good job. And he's a real good, uh, you know, action sequence guy. And I gotta tell you, there's a lot of action, rolling around, shooting up people, <laughs> stabbing people, uh, beating up people. You name it, it's in there. Explosions, you know, the good stuff. So, what was one of the most impressive things you saw in the film? Like, like just was like, damn, that really stuck out to you. Well, that would have to be the preview that they show, where he stabs the guy in the back of the leg when he comes out of the water. The, the oh, right, that, you just feel it. <laughs> you feel it in the back of your leg, and it's just like, you know that's gotta hurt. In your, in your own opinion, in the five star rating, you know, one being really crappy and five being stupendous, what would you rate this film? Well, seeing as I'm a fan, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go a solid four and a half. Four and a half, four and a half. I personally give it a three and a half. I felt, like I said, a, a little lacking in the beginning, but, I mean, the twist in the end. My only real complaint about the movie is how is it they have all these amazing shootouts, stuff blown up, and there's not a single cop. Which I pointed out to him. Not there one is. cop. There is no cops. And they got, you have to admit, they do the cool walk. You they see do. the explosion, they do. and they don't even turn and look. They just, they keep on trucking. Yep. Sunglasses on, shirt up, no big deal. Yep. No big deal. Just brush it off. All right, so do you have any complaints about the movie whatsoever? Any at all? Yes and no. It's kind of a joint deal. Um, it's a whole moral struggle going on in the movie. That, that whole part is like, he's wanting to tell him, but he can't. Mm -hmm. And it's just that kind of bothered me. Like, he should have done something on that, and they could have played on that. And they could have, you know, made something else more possible there. Yeah, no, I, I kind of agree with you, the whole, like, mm, like, I'm, once was the apprentice, now I'm the master, now I got, like, a new, a newbie, I gotta train him, who kind of doesn't really listen by the rules, that was kind of dumb, but, again, like I said, the action sequences, phenomenal, the, the shooting, the explosions, love it, total guy film, total guy film, mm -hmm. I mean, do you think any girls would be interested in this, maybe? Possible. Like, like, possible? I mean, if you're a fan of his, if you like the way he looks, I mean, you get to see him, I mean... Yeah. You know, I mean, if, 
you want to see his body, well, then go ahead. I don't, I'm not into that, but whatever. <laughs> He's in there. Now, the majority of, of men, basically, there are boobs in this movie. So, you know, you got boobs, you got your movie, you got guns. You got explosions. Sex, I mean, it's all in there. Although, there wasn't enough cars. Yeah, there were a couple nice cars that were... Yeah. And out. Done. Yeah. Done. You know, not like your transport movies where he's always, you know, there's no really any car scenes. Okay, well, thanks for joining us today, Brad. Probably have you back around sometime again for another film. But tonight we're going to try something a little bit different. We have a, another person involved with this, and his name is Shites. And this is going to be his shakedown. Hello, folks. My name is Shites. And no, it's not the German word for shit, but that seems to be the popular belief. Today I review The Mechanic. And it's pretty much a how-to on how to kill people. Uh, I give this movie one, uh, three out of five stars, beginning out with the review. Three out of five stars. One being it's a done-to-death plot, sort of. It's got some cool action, cool death scenes. People get run over, stabbed, heads blown off, adrenaline runs, fat people, and killing them. Jason Statham, I haven't seen too many of his films. I've seen him in Crank. I've seen him in The Expendables. And he does a stand-up job as an action hero. And... I do think he's tried doing a movie with an American accent. Not that I don't dig the British accent, but it'd be cool to see what else he can pull off as far as American films go. Uh, story, again, not too much, nothing new, really, but it does do touch a little bit of basis like Jeff and Brown were talking about earlier on morality, and that could have had potential, like they said. The plot was kind of predictable. Uh, I was expecting some unexpected things to happen, and I was pretty good at predicting some of them. Like a guy swimming in the pool. Oh, that guy's gonna die. Anytime you see a guy jumping in the pool and being in the movie, he's gonna die. Nightmare on Elm Street, right there. There's a clue for you. And Ben Foster, or what's the guy's name? Yes, Ben Foster. I know my movies. I've never heard of the guy, but he did a stand-up job. This was the Shites Shakedown. I will see you next week. Last week we reviewed No Strings Attached, which critics gave a four-star rating. I believe we gave it a three, three and a half, something along those lines. Later on, we're going to be doing a review on The Right, so that way you guys know if you want to waste your time seeing that movie, or if it actually is another Anthony Hopkins, you know, gold ticket winner, go see it and enjoy his awesomeness. Anywho, we'll catch you guys next time on another Smoking Films Critique.